right. Now, because life is not complicated enough using the z-table forwards, we're going to turn around and use the z-table backwards. The area to the left of a particular z-score is 0 0.1038. What is the z-score? So I gave you a table value, and I'm asking you for the z-value. So you want to dig through the body of the table, the middle of the table, until you find your number. And then see what row you're in. Row negative 1.2. What column are you in? Column 0 0.06. Add them together, get negative 1.26. So that's how we use the Z table backwards. Let's do another example. The area to the left of a z-score is 0.7389. Find the z-score. Try it. We found 0.7389 near the top of the positive side. The row is 0.6, the column is 0 0.04. Z equals 0.64. The area to the left of a Z score is 0 0.02. What is the Z score? Now, you may notice there's only two decimal places here, but all the numbers on the table have four decimal places. I like to fill in two zeros to make it easier to spot the number that I'm looking for. Now, you search the table for a while. You know what? You're not going to find this exact number, but you should be able to find something fairly close. Take a look. I found Point two, point zero two zero two, which is a little bit more, and point zero one nine seven, which is just a little bit less. Which one's closer? Yep, the bigger one. This one's closer. So we're going to use this table value, which corresponds to a z-score of negative 2.04. So that is the closest z-score. Let's try another one like that. The area to the left of a z-score is 0.91. So look for something close to 0.91. Hmm. We found 0 0.9099, and we found 0.9115. Which one's closer? Yep, this one, much closer. So we're going to use 1.35. Now. Find the z-score corresponding to the 95th percentile. Wait, what's a 95th percentile? Percentile, right. That means 95% of the group is below you. So 0.95 of the group is below you. We're going to look up the number 0.9500 because we converted 95% into a decimal. Now, we're looking it up. We don't find the exact value. There's no 0 0.9500. And what's worse, 
the number we want is halfway between two table values. If the number you want is halfway between two table values, average the two values. The z's, that is. 1.64 is close, 1.65 is close. Average them, 1.645. Okay, that was fun. You tired? I'm tired.